Hello, I'm Ali Tolly and this is my friend Connor Walmsley and he is an absolute legend of a singer-songwriter and you need to check him out. He's a really good friend and he's really talented. Um, but today we are going to perform my rap slash song called Anger in quote marks um, and Connor is accompanying me on guitar um, because I've not quite mastered rapping and playing guitar at the same time yet. Um, but it's a good opportunity to showcase Connor's talents to you. So yeah, this is Anger. I hope you like it. There are times he was nice, but there's times were few and far between because he could only really be nice when he was putting on a show to be seen. He showed his true colours when we were alone, and for a long time I kept repainting in my mind so I could trick myself into feeling safe at home. It makes me feel so angry that you treated me that way. It makes me feel so angry that no one believed a word I had to say. Because everyone just saw me as that naughty kid, so I bottled up my feelings and I tightened the lid. But I now know just how dark and devious he could be, yet it still wrecks my head that no one understands me. And why I am the way I am, why I feel this way. And why I don't know who I am, and why I'm really not okay. that I struggle to feel. I'm grieving for that little girl, that innocent child, but really it's no wonder that her mind ran so wild. I blame him for all that he said and he did. I blame the adults who wouldn't listen to that frightened angry little kid. But mostly I blame myself for being such a pain because honestly it was me who drove him insane. bad dream that makes me want to scream and no bandages or creams will heal up the cracks in my heart or stop the volcanic lava of rage from bubbling over before it starts not even water can disperse the fiery lava inside of me and not even spectacles will help me see a way of getting past this rage and this blame just, but despite all the pain it causes and this war is ridiculous and pointless me against the world and no one will ever truly understand me because they shame me until I fail until I curl up until I am tiny as small as I feel and really there's no need to remind me that. that my anger and I have lived together for a long time my anger is even sat with me now Helping me write this rhyme I sat with my anger long enough To tell me her real name Her real name is grief And her sister is called blame Sometimes I wish I could DNA. Sometimes I wish I can't speak at all, but I so wish I could say that this isn't fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. And I don't care what they say, there must be a way to be okay to rebel against my DNA. But the man who made me ruined me. And he still can't see that what he did was wrong and he silenced me and ruined all my songs. But now they are all tainted and contaminated by low self-esteem and hatred and it seems that I will never be able to fight my demons because I myself am a demon. And I can't even breathe and there are so many questions in my mind and it's getting harder and harder and harder to find any answers that will offer me solace but the truth is I'm a total waste, a waste of their time and a waste of their money, all I am is entertainment when I'm hyper and funny but the rest of the time I feel like a burden and I just want to be cured and find my way through this weird and wild struggle and find the final piece to my life's jigsaw puzzle, I want to be free, I need to be free from the stereotypical beliefs of the strange humans that we're here to keep, me safe and make sure I'm okay because really all they're doing is pushing me further and further away from happiness and health because a lot of the time I'm expected to suppress myself and do who I truly am and god damn it why won't they spend the time to sit down and understand the reason for my frowns they're too busy straightening their crowns because they are the royalty and I am a peasant and to be honest it really isn't nice nor is it pleasant to feel so uncared for whilst I'm fighting their wars I need their understanding their kindness and their empathy because my reality my contemporary really isn't fun and I just want to run because For a long time, my anger has even 
stop with me now, helping me ride this ride. Stop with my anger long enough. Just tell me her real name. Her real name is brief, and her sister is called Blame. I told my mom angry, and she really wasn't surprised. It doesn't give me any comfort. It really means there's no need to hide. I hide my disguise of lies and silent cries. I tell my mom I don't hate her. I'm just really, really hurting. I tell her that I'm just very sad and angry and that, that what you did still makes me feel dirty. I tell her that I'm grieving and, she, and I discovered there was finally something I could say that people can believe in. I'm shocked that I'm the one who's surprised and she's known all along and I've only just realised. She says that even when I hate the world and everyone in it, it doesn't mean that she'll ever ever stop loving me no matter what I think say or do. But before I can feel that love I must admit what's true and in telling her I'm hurting, angry, grieving and blaming, Telling her how I really feel, it's control over me lessons and allows me to heal. I told her I was sorry for blaming her and she forgave me. In honesty, it was discovering the truth that really set me free. For I don't need the answers to the questions in my mind because the truth is I'm finally more capable and able to find. The truth that lives within me that it's okay to simply be me. And it's okay when I finally, only when I finally realised that, that I finally felt freed. And even though he trampled on his very own seed, not just a sad limp weed, that seed grew up to be resilient and brave and creative and strong. So I used my resilience, creativity and strength not to show him he was wrong, but to free myself from the prison I locked myself in. And though I'm not sure I believe in God, I believe that I have sinned. But I have finally realised the truth and now I am convinced that my words should be used for the truth and never ever minced. I only just learned what that means today, but it finally makes sense and for once I kind of feel okay. with me now, helping me ride this ride. I sat with my anger long enough, let's tell me her real name. Her real name is Grief, and her sister is called Blame. I'm creating a new me, and she will most certainly be happier and healthier and far more hopeful, and I won't allow her to cut her up into tiny pieces, just so that she's easier to chew and swallow in one mouthful. And now I know how to cope, most of the time at least. And finally what was once inside me, that ever-growing beast, has finally stopped growing into shrinking bit by bit. And for Christmas I asked for a beast destroying kit. Of course I didn't get it, I found the strength within. To destroy the monsters inside and rise above my sins. I'm still grieving, but now there's, it is the occasional time where I realise I'm not guilty and the guilt isn't mine to carry. He is the creator of all this mess and now it's my turn to lead him to second guess. His life choices because I'm stronger now and even the voices in my head have gone to bed and they may only be napping but at least I get a break for I need to regather my strength when they are awake as they can be overpowering and can leave me scared and cowering but now I know for sure that I'll be okay and most of the time on most of the days I've learned many ways of coping, many coping strategies which work in different ways so I know I'll get through and I know I will stay. inside of me and I'm working on letting it go so that I can be me, me the singer, me the happiness bringer, me the lover, me who was free and no, hiding, no longer hiding under cover. I studied the face of what I called my rage, I listened to her case so that I could gauge whether she was good or bad but I guess you can guess the outcome because in the company of rage there is no fun to be had. So I still branded her as deep rooted anger and at first I couldn't stand her but we're all good now, I mean as good as grief and blame where massive anger can get. And now there are less bets on whether I'll make it out alive because I've taken the grief and her sister blaming my stride.